So you're on social media, I'm assuming since you're watching this video. Hey guys, welcome to my rant about social media. Uh, social media and plastic surgery have crossed paths recently and actually the plastic surgery associations have looked into this and there's a little bit of controversy about social media in plastic surgery. People have questioned the ethics, the morality of social media. If you follow our Snapchat, you've seen our social media, you guys know what we do. We show and explain what we do and how we do things. And from that point of view, I think it is really important to realize the value that social media can bring to education, awareness, and informed consent. Every time you have surgery, you sign a consent paper. It's called the informed consent. You're signing a paper stating that you're fully aware of the procedure itself, you're aware of the potential risks and outcomes, and you're making an informed decisions to go ahead with this. Well, how can you really do that if you don't really know what's going on? That understanding comes from something like Snapchat. Our followers and followers have seen all kinds of procedures, I show you from the beginning, from the consultation process, to the procedure, to the day after surgery, to up to a year after surgery and finish seeing our patients. You get to see the whole process. You get to see the good things and the bad things. You see the bruising, the swelling. You can see how things can look to the front right after surgery. There's a real value in understanding of what you're getting into, what you're gonna expect, and what you should do. People that come to us having watched naps, I'm well prepared, well educated. They know what I'm gonna say. They know the risks, benefits. They know the limitation of surgeries. I love that. I don't have to explain to them what goes on. They don't have unrealistic expectations. If you follow our Snapchat, you see we Snapchat a lot of our patients. We snap, I'd say maybe 90% of people are coming to our office. These are people that have agreed to be snapped. They know we're gonna protect their privacy. We don't share their faces. We don't show their tattoos unless they specifically agree or don't mind having their tattoos on the identifying mark shown. We, nobody really knows who's being snapped. It's about us showing and explaining what goes on. And while we love to snap what we do, if some of you decided they don't want to be snapped, that is perfectly fine. Nobody's forced. You don't have to be snapped to come and have a consultation or surgery with us. When we first started Snapchatting, I was a little hesitant myself because I wasn't quite sure how our patients would react to being on camera and having their surgery snapped and stream live. To be honest, I was really surprised by the positive response we got. I was surprised by how many people wanted to be snapped and how many people wanted to go and watch their surgery afterwards. It's actually one of the most common reasons why people agree to be snapped is so that they can watch it after the surgery for themselves. As a side effect of all the snaps that we've done, I think what I, what I find most encouraging, what I love most about our Snapchat is the educational component and how it inspires other people. We get messages daily from very young followers, uh, students who say they're inspired to work hard, to study hard, to go into sciences, to go into medicine, or even to go into plastic surgery. We get messages from people in other healthcare fields, nurses, or physician assistants, or vets, or dentists who enjoy watching this, um, and students in those fields who are inspired to go and work hard because they see how much fun we have doing what we do and how much fun this can be. So in conclusion about social media, I understand where the hesitance and questions come from, from people that don't have personal experience with social media. I was like that myself, like I said, I was very hesitant to jump on the Snapchat bandwagon. I just, I wasn't very comfortable, but from day one, I was blown away by the response I got. From day one, the first day we started snapping, the positive response we got from our patients was just overwhelming. Patients actually enjoy the social media aspect of this. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my rants, and tune in next week for my next rant. Hey, guys, thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel because we do giveaways for our subscribers all the time. You could win a fun Dr. Six t shirt like this. If you have questions or comments about the plastic surgery social media controversy, leave them below, and Dr. Six will reply to every comment that we get. If you want to know what this whole controversy is about, you can see live surgeries on Instagram and Snapchat. Follow us at Real Doctor Six. One more thing before I forget, click the link below to see the Toronto Star article that Dr. Six is talking about. Okay, bye.